Charles Lewis leads the FPW Fire Brigade. It's a small team that covers Fox River, Point Greville, and uh, Wards Brook in Cumberland County. Uh, sir, tell me this. Now, you responded to an emergency recently. The fire department called for EHS, called for an ambulance. What happened after you made that call? Um, after, well, we don't make the call ourselves as the fire department. 911 does that. Um, we proceeded to, to go to the the address. We got there, we assessed the situation, um, tried to find out an ETA on EHS. We were told that they didn't have one, called back, I think, I'm pretty sure four to five times. Finally, we got an ETA of an hour and 45 minutes, which was after our 45 minute wait. Um, at that time, the the patient's spouse decided that she didn't want to have to wait that long because the patient was a cancer patient, had a high fever, um, trouble breathing, and she just, she did not want to wait. I didn't think it was a good thing to wait myself. Um, so she signed a, a refusal for EHS and proceeded to the, the hospital in her own vehicle. So you were told that an ambulance was an hour and 45 minutes away. What, why, why would that be? I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm looking for those answers myself. I mean, in Parsboro, we have, there's an ambulance bay in Parsboro. There's one in Amherst. There's one in Spring Hill. I know there's, there's detours on both ends of Parsboro right now going to Amherst or going to Truro, but it, it doesn't take over two hours for an ambulance to to come from either way. And as I understand it, in fact, they were gonna send an ambulance from Halifax, is that right? That's what we were told, it was coming from the Halifax area. So an hour and 45 minute wait for a patient in need, is that typical in your neighborhood or becoming more typical? More typical lately, yes. Um, there's There's been times that we've waited well over two hours and it's just, it's in the last, Four to five years, it's been getting worse every year, and but it's just it's it's getting to the point now. I mean, how long is it going to be before now? This is worst case scenario that we have to tell someone. You know, your mother, brother, sister, wife isn't going to make it because the ambulance is too far away. Why should an ambulance have to come from Halifax? when there's all these ambulance bays around. I just, I, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't understand. What was the reaction from the family when you told them the ambulance was an hour and 45 minutes away and what ultimately happened to that patient? Um, she was very angry when she found out she had to wait that long for an ambulance for her husband. Um, saying that he was was a family member. So I, I did my best to keep her calm and she, uh, I, I, I had to watch her too. I knew her blood pressure went up and kept her calm. And after she signed a refusal, we we carried on our way. I, I went with her just as a family member and I got my fiance to follow behind me. We went all the way to Truro and he later had to go to Halifax after that and actually just returned home the other day. But it could have been a lot worse than what it was. And it, it was bad as it was. I know a lot of fire departments are responding to more and more medical calls, and I know that's certainly the case with your brigade there. And the province says it's trying to beef up the ambulance service. It's doing a lot of things uh, to try and make the system more effective. I mean, what, what do you make of that? I mean, it just sounds like a broken record to be here the same thing over and over. It's just something's got to change and it has to change soon. What would you like to see change? What, what would you like to tell the, the, the government who is trying to fix this situation? What would you like them to know? I just, I, I can't understand the problem myself. I mean, there's all these people going to be paramedics, people taking the training, there's ambulance bays. I, why, why aren't they where they're supposed to be? Are they sitting in hospitals waiting with their patients? Is it because there's not enough doctors? Is that, is EHS doing the doctor's jobs at the hospital because it's starting to feel like the first responders are doing EHS's jobs and we don't have as much training. We're strictly volunteers and it's just, I don't know, just looking for answers. Yeah, the province says there are staffing issues at EHS. There are problems where hospital, they're trying to alleviate uh, uh, ambulance uh, staff 
at the hospitals who are looking after patients, trying to work that system so that they're more effectively uh, used and can be put back on the road quicker. Any sign of mm -hmm. that happening at your end of things? I can't see it. I really can't. I, I haven't seen any changes. The, the wait times are staying the same, if not getting worse. And right. I, I know every community is different, but our community, it's there's there's a lot of elderly people. And with wait times, like that, I mean, there, there has been times that the patient hasn't made it. Now, I'm not saying it's because of the wait time. Maybe it was just their time, but. Yeah, a difficult situation to say the least. I really appreciate you giving us the view from Cumberland County, Mr. Lewis. Thank you very much. Problem.